Oh, we're getting at the front to where my Bridgestone truck was parked. And they've just pulled me straight out of the truck, threw me on the ground over here. They've had guns pointed at me and they've cuffed me, arrested me. I mau heretia a Boston e ngā pīmana, whai muri i tētahi puhia i whakatāne i te tangihana o Stephen Taiatini me ma māpū mangaru. On the day that the shooting took place, which I believe was the 14th of June, they came home and they told me what had happened. Obviously I was very upset. We were just returning from uh, Tangihanga in Ōpōtiki and uh, called into whakatāne to McDonald's drive through for some uh, chicken nuggets to bring home. And uh, I noticed there was a few few vehicles travelling towards us, full of Black Power members. So I've looked in the mirror and noticed that they've got guns. So I've told Dad, and Dad's told me just to go and don't stop. We've come around by um, the hub in Fakatani and they've started shooting. Kotai te kai tiro tiro i tau arangi, i mea atu ki ngā piimana e mauana a Wiremu me Boston, he poraka ki korangi, te tai poraka o ngā kaipuhi. It's on the CCTV. My son was wearing a red 749ers t-shirt. They already knew that they could eliminate Boston, but if they eliminated that statement, there's no reasonable grounds to issue the warrant. Kei a Melanie Teri poata a ngā pīmana e pāna ki te puhia i whakatāne, e ngari hei tāna he rūkahu te nuinga. One police officer printed it, and that police officer left it on the car roof and drove off and a neighbour has picked it up. It tells me that the police lied to get the application to raid my house. Now, can you explain to us what happened in Galatea back in June last year? Saturday morning, we're sitting in the lounge. We're saying goodbye to our son. He's heading off to root for the day. And then next minute, my phone goes off and it's the neighbour, holy <laughs> neighbour, are you OK? We've opened this door. Willie's just covered in red lights everywhere. E toru rā a muri te pūhia i whakatāne, i tāia tu te Arm Defender Squad ki te kāinga o te whānau. A hei tā te whānau, toru haura koe hipa o te pāma mai a ngā pīmana ki te whānau, i tai mai ngā kaira pūhara. A nā wai nā wai, kua wātia te whānau, kia wehe. After all of that happened, none of my keys opened any of the locks for anything at work. They just basically treated me like I was a criminal after that. I ended up resigning with them changed my life, my 17-year-old's life, my husband's life, to the point that we sold our home. Tino kino, te rā momo, te mai tine, te kou mai whitu, me te mau pū, haru mai mai waho, tino kino rāmātū. Ko te mai o te prihimana, te chaki te hāpori, haru ana rā ki te whānau. Te tino whānau re, me hanga mea ki wāngaru e tanga te whenua, Me te prihimana. Ka ra ngā prihimana tino papai rawātū. Kei wāngi nui ko te āporo pīrau nei. I tukuna he kō amu amu ki ngā prihimana e te whānau. Engari kua e a tonu ngā prihimana te kehi a kua kati. Nā reira i toro atu a auka ki ngā prihimana. Engari auare ake i nāia nei e kōrero ana te whānau ki tō rātou roia. I just want them to stop profiling people based on ethnicity, based on association. In my eyes, the only reason this happened is because I'm a member of the Mongol mob. That's the only reason why the police have come, come back and done this. Is compensation something that you would look to? Absolutely. I wasn't going to at first, but absolutely. Why shouldn't I? At the end of the day, I'm just a mum that's trying to rectify the wrongdoing. It was done to her son by the people that we should trust the most.